it's Tinya and I'm here with a watercolour spread and this one I took inspiration from a magazine. We don't get those beautiful magazines like Daphne's Diary or Molly Makes or any of those, you know, really nice arty crafty ones. But we do have, it's a relatively new one and I can't remember what it's called. Mm, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. But it has all sorts of things in it from cooking to sewing to crafting, you know, all of that. So, and it's reasonably expensive. I didn't realise until after I bought it, but be that as it may, that's beside the point. So what I decided to do then was, because I had all of this leftover green paint, which I had mixed up using those Jane Devonport Bright palette for another, I think it was one of my scrap art journals that I was doing, I figured, okay, let me try my hand at drawing herbs. It's not brilliant. In fact, it's not even remotely brilliant, but it was it was kind of fun. And <laughs> here I was trying to mix up. You see, I'm trying to mix up some of the greens that I can see in in the magazine on the left there, but it's not going very well, mainly because I still haven't quite come to grips with color color mixing and what shades work well but I did enjoy myself and I especially enjoyed doing this one I think that's lavender pretty sure can't see from here but I'm pretty sure it is at the moment it looks like one of the weird centipede but uh, when I add the little purple flowers to it then it starts to look more like a herb and less like some weird gigantic millipede and you know one of those creepy crawlies <laughs> So yeah, my watercolour journey is, is going slowly. I keep saying the same thing and I think my problem is I expect to be able to pick up a paintbrush and magically be able to instantaneously draw wonderfully and create colours and things and it, that's just not how it works. How it works is you practice. Yes, I know. Sounds, you know, sounds like effort. <laughs> But no, it's not really. I think if you're doing something which you enjoy, I think the problem is I'm I'm still at the sort of very embryonic stage, so I need to... I think when I get a bit more proficient at it, I think I will probably enjoy it more because I won't feel like such a retard. <laughs> mind you, we know I don't mind laughing at myself. I also don't mind putting myself out there as, you know, having made the most fundamental faux pas and massive goffs and things, it doesn't bother me. But yeah, I think it's it's nice if you're a real beginner like me to see that other people are, you know, trying and failing or trying and succeeding and it, it can be nice to <laughs> feel like you're in the same company rather than always being in the company of people who know what they're doing. <laughs> so, so you're welcome. <laughs> I will put myself out there with my uh, uh, my junior junior watercolouring and yeah now I was going on my own yeah I suddenly decided no didn't want to do any of those weird um, well they're not weird herbs but you know those things at the bottom there like leeks and stuff <gasps> mainly because I don't like leeks but I didn't want to do that so I did that kind of leaf type thing and then uh, because I was so excited about the the lavender one I decided to do another one and this one I'm going to give, I think I give it some pinky type flowers, but yeah, that was just so much fun. And I'm using a a new brush that I bought and it's a size six. So I'm I'm used to the, the bigger brushes, but I'm really quite liking, you know, how much detail you can get with a little one like that. And yeah, I don't know, just now I'm just adding some yellow in and I think I'm going to do the little flowers now. Oh no, no, look at that. I'm adding another leaf. <laughs> I actually think that perhaps I should invest in a couple of drawing books. It probably is not a bad idea, Tanya Heidi Hubbard. You know, you'll you'll improve dramatically. But uh, ah, yeah, we'll see. I'm I'm kind of stubborn sometimes, which is really stupid. But anyway, so there we go. I've got my other funny kind of herby thing with pretty flowers and then I just went on this wild thing of I don't even know what that is kind of like a frond really but uh, yeah it was fun and now I'm just going to end it off with some splattering because splattering always always makes it look finished and pretty and yeah hope you enjoyed it
I hope you're having a great day and we'll chat again soon. So take care. Bye.